If I were talking to a 65-year-old man from Tennessee who watches Fox News, I would not articulate the story of interbeing. I would speak from the understanding of the story of interbeing. And I would try to speak in a way that communicates to him and that can be received. Like I might say something about corporate welfare. And the, I'm a small businessman and if I go bankrupt, the government isn't gonna bail me out. Why do they bail out the banks? I might say something like that. Just to like say something that fits into his kind of vocabulary of ideas and concepts, but that also violates them in some way. Or if I'm talking to an evangelical person. So this earth, um, did we earn that or did God give it to us as a gift? And they'll say, well, it was a gift. And I'll say, well, what if I gave you, or what if you gave me a beautiful carpet that you spent a long time and a lot of effort making. And I said, thank you. And then you came to my house and you saw it smeared with shit and covered in stains and there's vomit and beer spills on it. What would you think? You'd think that I was disrespecting you. You'd feel insulted. So we do honor or insult to the giver by how we treat the gift. And you just said, this earth is a gift. That's like an example of speaking in a way that can be received, but coming from, like, like the, the, the basic understandings of interbeing can be translated into many different languages. And yeah, there may be a limit into how much can fit into one of these other worldviews. But I find that there's usually something. There's usually some point of connection that can be made because the, the, you know, it's a universal impulse that we have today to, on some level, all of us recognize, on some level, I'm just gonna assert this, even though some people would swear up and down that, I'm, that, that they disagree, but I'm gonna assert that on some level, nobody agrees with the agreements that run our world. Nobody thinks this is working. Everybody is a rebel. So knowing that, I believe that there is always some way to, to speak to that, to blow air on that fire. And I think that on some level also, everybody knows that a more beautiful world is possible. Everybody is here because they wanna do something great. They wanna do something beautiful. They wanna do something magnificent. Like that, that's also universal. Everybody here, wants to love and be loved. So yeah, you know, it's not a matter, like I don't really, I'm not out there to, to proselytize my particular version of a new story. I want to create conditions that serve the birth of that story and serve the spread of that story. So in one situation, it might just be like a humorous comment, a friendly, a friendly gesture, you know, just just something, because because any, well, humor for one thing can often communicate, you don't take this seriously, do you? Because I don't. This thing that, that we all think is real, no. I don't believe it either. Like that's one thing that humor can do. And kindness or generosity can communicate it's not everyone for themselves after all. Because look, here's a counterexample. So those, those kinds of things, to, like to actually give people an experience that doesn't fit into the story of separation, that's a lot more important than, than trying to get them to intellectually accept a certain worldview. Because by giving them those experiences that don't fit, they become more open to a new story. The old story doesn't make as much sense. Like you're preparing the ground that way. That's a lot more important. Like the idea that, that people change their minds when their defenses are overcome by superior evidence and logic, that, that's not how anyone changes their mind. You have to change the conditions. Beliefs and systems of belief are attracted to a state of being. The state of being is the product of the totality of that person's experiences going back, maybe even through a genetic lineage. 
Therefore, if you want the beliefs to change and the story to change, you have to change, you have to offer different experiences that change the state of being, that magnetize a different belief, that, that, or a different story that then assigns different roles and different meanings to life. It's not just because the story is something that's kind of um, attracted to the, the state of being doesn't mean that it's irrelevant. It's, it's a key part of the circle. The story creates meaning, creates beliefs. Like a lot of the things that we need to do in this, in this world don't make sense if they're not part of a story, say, for example, of a 500-year time frame of healing the planet. Like if you have that story that, yeah, that's what we're here to do right now, and it's going to take a long time. And so these small changes, taking care of this one stream, for example, that is important. Like that in the narrative of climate change is going to destroy us in five years unless we do something about it right away, then you're wasting your time if you're just taking care of one little stream or housing a homeless person or feeding a hungry child. You're wasting your time in that story. Now, I think that there are serious problems with the dominant narrative of climate change. And I won't go into that now. What I'm saying is that the story generates meaning and purpose. Like life purpose isn't like some individual thing. Life purpose is also the product of our relationship, of, of a set of agreements with other people and maybe even beyond other people. It's the product of, of community. It's a product of relationship. So by serving a new story, either by artic like, yeah, articulating it can be useful. Like that's kind of what I do, you know, publicly. But service to the story of interbeing, the story of reunion, the story of connection, the story of a beautiful healed earth, service to that doesn't necessarily mean telling the story in words. It means acting from that story, bringing people into that story by giving them experiences that are of that story. So by serving that story, we are creating new or different or next meanings and life purposes for other people to step into. Yeah, so all, all of the steps in this process, like the story creates the system, the system creates the story. You can intervene in any stage.